Hello everyone. Today we will learn about Jim Baker's Blue Jay yarn written by the famous American writer Mark Twain. Mark Twain is a pen name of Samuel Langhorne Clemens. He was born on 30th November 1835 in Florida, Missouri. He is a famous American writer, humorist, publisher and also lecturer. He took his inspiration from River Mississippi where he traveled a lot. His famous works are The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, written in 1876 and 1884 respectively. He died on 21st April 1910. Jim Baker's Blue Jay Yarn first appeared in the book titled A Tramp Abroad. It was published in the year 1880. It tells about an American traveling in Europe. The characters in the story are the narrator, we have Jim Baker, the miner in California, Blue Jay, other Blue Jays, an old Jay who actually resolves a mystery. We also have a now. Jim Baker is a miner in California. He lives in the woods. His neighbors are birds and animals. He could translate any remark made by them. He says some animals use simple words as they are less educated. Some have a large vocabulary, so they are fluent and have good command over the language. Blue Jays language skills. Blue Jays talk a lot and show off their talent. So they are the best talkers. Jim Baker says Blue Jays have different moods and feelings. They can convey their feelings through the language using metaphors. They use good grammar. They never get struck in search of a word. When cats fight, they use poor grammar. Jays do not use bad grammar at all. If they do so, they are ashamed and feel guilty for their behavior like human beings. they immediately leave the place blue jays have a great sense of humor they laugh cry reason plan they also discuss talk gossip scandal and even feel ashamed the narrator's cabin our narrator stayed in the log house before 7 years he was the last person to vacate the place The house is empty since then. The house has one big room with a plank roof. One Sunday, a blue jay sits on the house with acorn in his mouth. He opens his mouth to speak. "Hello, I reckon I have struck something." The acorn drops, rolls down the roof. The jay is happy that it has rolled into a hole. The blue jay flies and brings another acorn and drops into the hole but it cannot hear it fall it goes to the other side of the hole but it cannot find it it drops another acorn sees through the hole but cannot find it it drops many more but cannot find them it thought it must be a new kind of a hole long and deep it goes mad and curses himself The blue jay's aim is to fill the hole. It works hard for nearly 2 and 1/2 hours. It has collected acorns that must be sufficient for his family for the next 30 years. It now bends down, looks through the hole. It turns pale and angry again because there is no sign of acorn in the hole. Another blue jay passes by. The jay explains all the happening. it had dropped nearly 2 tons of acorn the newcomer raises a l three other jays join them they examine the hole they invite many more jays the whole region is blue in color as nearly 5000 of them join together they dispute curse after looking into the hole there was one old blue jay who examines the house that is half open He peeps in and understands the mystery. He finds the acorns are all scattered all over the floor. 
The foolish blue jay was not trying to fill the hole. It had tried to fill the empty house with acorns. All blue jays gathered near the door now. They laughed heartily. They were around the house top for nearly an hour. They guffawed like human beings. The blue jays brought other birds from all over United States every summer for the next three years. They all understood the situation and laughed heartily. Only an owl from Nova Scotia could not appreciate the jays as he saw nothing funny in it. The foolish behavior of the blue jay to fill the room with acorns thinking it to be a hole provokes laughter. The story is full of humorous maneuvers of the bird making it interesting for the readers to read the story. The major themes that are handled in the story are the first one is determination. It tells about the determination of the blue jay who does not give up easily. The second theme is language. The narrator appreciates the blue jays command over their language which is important for communication skills. About the title Jim Baker's Blue Jay Yarn, Yarn is a long story that someone tells especially one that is invented or exaggerated. Yarns and tall tales were a popular form of humor writing during Mark Twain's time. The story is narrated from the experience of the miner Jim Baker by our narrator. Hence, the title Jim Baker's Blue Jay Yarn is appropriate and apt. As always, thanks for listening and thanks for your time. Thank you.